Hello and howdy. Doing a run time capacity test today on this refurbished Vito Man Jump 1000. Actually, looks brand new. Still got the covering on the screen, but we're about to fire up not one, but two 500 watt heaters. So, right now we're sitting, it's kind of hard to see there, but we're at about 111 volts, just over 111. So, let's go ahead and fire up heater one. And we're going to see under watts so ramping up and now we're gonna fire up heater number two and this is gonna be pushing the inverter right to the limit so let's see we're counting up thousand eighty almost 1100 watts and these kind of heaters they ramp up and then they start to settle down some so let's see how we do with this we're just a couple minutes into the test but I'm just I am pleased to see that the voltage holds steady at about 111 so glad to see no voltage sag with this amount of load on the unit progress update we're at 270 watt hours Volts holding pretty steady around 11, 111. Just over a thousand watts out. Again, 280 watt hours, and we are at 75% left on the meter on the unit. All right, so right at about the 500 watt hour mark, we have been running at 30 minutes. thousand watts sitting steady at 111 volts showing 54 percent I do notice the watts show a little bit lower on the unit itself so somewhere between the two I would say but uh, units getting a little warm and the fan hasn't kicked on which is kind of odd but uh, maybe because it's kind of cool outdoors here but we will continue on down to 21 percent 870 watt hours used so far. Check back in in a minute. Down to the final 5%, 940 watt hours. And we've been running this at uh, pretty much full capacity. So I haven't gotten the best inverter efficiency. We'll see how we finish out. Also see if the uh, meter is calibrated or if it... There we go. Alright, so done with the max load capacity test. Ran it at the full 1000 watts this unit's capable of. Actually, it time's going a little over a thousand watts ran it all the way from full charge to zero only got about 68 69 percent efficiency but i find on most of these mid-sized larger you know thousand watt hour plus units when you run them at their max capacity uh, your max inverter capacity you typically see between 65 and 75 percent efficiency so uh right in the, right in line with what i typically see I'm uh, going to go ahead and give this a full charge, and next test we'll be running this at about a 200 watt load, or you know, roughly a 0.2C as they call it. Uh, usually I see 10-15% more efficiency when I run these inverters at that test, so I fully expect to see, you know, in the neighborhood of 80-85% to 85 efficiency. But I always like to see how these units do, running them full tilt, you know, at their rated capacity, because... I have had units that can't even run the full test. They overheat, um, error out whenever you run them at or near their maximum uh, rated capacity on the inverter. So happy to see it passed. Again, this is a refurbished unit, but it, it appears to be near brand new, and I doubt it has very many cycles. But like I said, that that lower uh, 
efficiency, you know, I do typically see that when I run these at their max rated output. And so I'm not real concerned about that. And I, I'll update the description uh, once I do the point two c test tomorrow and let y'all know how that turned out. But that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching.